Alright guys, it's Hitran here, the unnecessary programmer and after today we are no longer going to buy any birthday cakes because we are going to build our own using Python Turtle. Of course, it's not going to be an unnecessary project unless we add something kind of fun. I was thinking, wouldn't it be cool if we add some candles on top of our cake and when we blow the candles, they actually extinguish for real. That for sure will make us feel like we have some friends. The idea of the birthday cake was actually given from a subscriber. So, thanks Killer Queen and let's get on to baking our Python cake. Delicious. Let's start with recording our voice that we are later going to use to blow our birthday candles. I will have to warn you guys, this will be the most complicated part of the project because we kind of need to add some shenanigans that will let us continually record until we detect the sound. Then we are going to trim all the silent parts and this will be resulting in a wave file. I know it's pretty complicated for messing around with some candles, but oh well, no better way to learn something than to have fun while doing it. So let's go! We start by importing the needed libraries. By the way, install Py Audio, so you won't have any problems with running this script. Then we add some constants that we are going to use later. The threshold itself we are going to use in the silent method to check if the collected data from the microphone is all silent. Next, we slap another method that normalizes the recording so we don't have any crazy highs. The trim method is a little bit more complex. Let me invoke my epic Photoshop skills so I can explain essentially what we are going to do. We have this sound wave Let's say it has a blank spot in the beginning, we have some noises in the middle and a blank spot at the end. I want to write a trim method that trims all the blank spots, but we really don't want to invoke this method twice. So we are going to write an inner method and trim the front, reverse the array, then trim the silence in the back, then finally we reverse the array again and return the proper data. Now, let's see the code itself in action. The thing is that I walked into a pretty sucky issue. Let's say you have 30 seconds of silence in the beginning, then you trim it. It works well, but the following problem arises. When you play the audio file in VOC, it gets chopped off. So the only solution that comes in mind, well, comes from Stack Overflow, is to add half a second of silence. So here is the method. After all this very necessary work, we finally reached the time to write the record method. With PyAudio, we are going to record a word or words we are not that picky using our microphone and return the data as an array of signed shorts. Signed means positive numbers. After the recording is done, we normalize the audio, trim the silent part and pat half a second of blank sound to make sure the file is not chopped off. After this, all that is left is to record the data to a file and of course, test it out. Test. Test. After this exhausting voice module, we are going to continue with drawing our cake. 
For all the three people that are still left watching this video, thank you and we're going to aim and draw a cake like this. As we can see, we are going to need a couple of shapes like rectangle and circle and something a little bit more complicated that is going to be the icing on the cake. We are going to achieve this by writing a custom module that we are going to import in our main program. This specific module teaches our turtle to draw the various shapes. I'm not going to explain all the methods because they are kind of trivial, but rather let's give a few words for the most important functionalities of the Python turtle lover. The pen up method is used when we want to stop drawing and move our turtle's pointer to some other location. The color method is pretty self-explanatory, same as the fill color. We move our turtle with the go-to method by giving a specific X and Y coordinates. In order to start drawing again, we need to place the turtle pen down again by using the predefined methods circle, left, forward and so on, we can control the destination of our turtle. And that, programmers, is the magic of Python Turtle. Cool, we have our custom shapes module. Now let's see it in action in our main script. As we are seeing the code, let's note some things. We need two pens for drawing the cake and for drawing the candles. You will see why in a little bit. Hashtag building the suspense. Also, if you are trying this for yourself, choose whatever colors you want and add as many layers as you want. Just populate the hexadecimal value of the colors you want, then invoke the shapes methods that we develop and BAM! You have a cake! Or an exception? Let's fix and test again. Looks good, looks good. All that is left is to add the candles and test by blowing into our microphone. And this sounds super awkward when I'm saying it, but whatever. Let's slap the code and finish the main script. Nice. The demo was actually pretty good and I'm having way too much fun doing this. So let's see it one more time. It's super cool. Come with me guys. Look at this, look at this. It's super cool again. And now we blow. <laughs> nice. I love it. Thank you everyone for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know what do you think about it and hopefully you see some real cakes in your life, not only the ones we actually write in Python. See you in the next one. Bye!